Hello, Booktube. I'm back with yet another reading sort of project. I mentioned this at the middle of August. It's to read through the fiction of H.G. Wells, Herbert George Wells. Um, and it's to start on the 21st of September. Uh, that's because of his birthday, 21st of September, 1866. He lived to August 13th, 1946. And my thought was that it'd be nice to read through his fiction, including his uh, short fiction, uh, or his short stories, all the way through. Now, this is a long project, and I have no time frame for this. It'll be as and when I'm sort of doing this by myself. Uh, if anybody else wants to join in, that's fine. I will leave the uh, short stories, uh, the listing of the short stories chronologically because everything that's listed down below in the uh, description is the uh, short stories up to the uh, publication of the time machine more or less and I'll explain that a little bit the first story on the list is the chronic uh, Argonauts and that is uh, sort of connected to the time machine but it was uh, an earlier version now there are other versions of the time machine that were published in 1894 uh, before the final publication in 1895 or the serialization of the time machine and even that the serialization had a few changes from the final published book now I'm not adding those other attempts during 1894. We will do those, or I'll do those, prior to reading The Time Machine after these, this chunk of short stories. Now, that can, all that can be found in the Norton Critical Edition of The Time Machine. Now, it, I, I didn't think it was going to be... It's not difficult, but I didn't think it was going to be a problem. Just I figured I'd just find somewhere and I'd just copy and paste the list of, of his work. But it's not that easy. Wikipedia has the short stories, but they are done alphabetically. And I've got this little comprehensive bi uh, bibliography of H.G. Wells by the H.G. Wells Society. This is the fifth edition, revised. It's a checklist. It's not a detailed bibliography. And the short stories are listed in order of which they appear uh, in a collection that was edited by John Hammond in 1988 by J.M. Dent. So I had to go through and pluck these out and put them in um, chronological order and basically just retype everything out. So it's just it's just a little cumbersome to do this. But also, too, um, during his student days, like in 1888 and 89 and so forth, he, he, do, he was still writing and he wrote short stories in a magazine that he created at his, uh, at his school. And that's where the chronic Argonauts uh, comes in. But that is in the Delphi, and I'll be relying mostly on the Delphi, uh, so-called complete H.G. Wells. They have a, a link in there to say, list the short stories chronologically, but they're not. They're not chronologically, so again, a bit of a, uh, a problem. Because, again, I thought that would be okay. But I, as far as I can tell, by quick cross-referencing, all the stories that are on the list that I have below are uh, in, in the Delphi edition. Uh, it's an electronic edition. That's if anybody wants to, uh, to read long. And I do have other collections. Uh, I have an older collection of his short stories, but it was published before his death and it's not complete so I will be relying 
uh, back and forth on the Delphi edition, and even for some of the uh, novels as, as we later get into them. So yeah, so uh, September 21st starts, I guess, the Wellsian project, the Wellsathon. I don't know what to call it at this point. And uh, there is no time frame for this. I'm going to be reading them as and when I get the urge, and I'll be doing videos. But uh, there is no, as I say, time frame. If anybody wants to sort of follow along, that's fine. I'll, I'll probably wind up saying what I'm going to read in the next week or something like that. Uh, I, I, I suspect uh, for on the 21st, if things go well, uh, I will read uh, reread the Chronic Argonauts. Um, and there's, as I say, he wrote a lot of short stories while he was in college. Now, those are proving very difficult to find. I get some references to them, but I can't seem to locate text uh, of, of the stories. But as time goes on, I'm going to search a little more. Uh, not I'm not spending a lot of time on this, so... Uh, but if anybody does come up with any of those, do let me know in the comments or email me. But yeah, I will be adding them as and when if I can find uh, stories to add in. Uh, they may not be fully chronological. And at times I'm going to read a few things out of order, uh, but I'll explain why. But for the most part, I'm going to try to stay chronological to the publication dates. Because... And I say that I differentiate from the time that he wrote them because there are a few things like, for instance, uh, there's one story that was not in. Well, there's three stories that were not in this complete edition, they call. But there was a story called The Haunted Ceiling that was in the Strand magazine. Um, it looks like it was dated from 1890s but it wasn't published till 2016 so there you go you know so it's not the date that he wrote them but the date of publication more or less so anyway anybody who's interested do let me know in the in the comments below and we'll commence on the 21st thank you booktube